Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and this is episode two, maybe, of the zombie hotline on Shangri-La. I did a promo video from the Shangri-La on Machinima, and I was able to generate about a hundred new callers. So we're gonna get a few of those callers in today, and it gives me some calls for a couple more episodes as well. But I also wanted to say that going through these messages, one of the main reasons that I don't use uh, your message if you call in is like talking real low. I'll get people that call in and you can barely hear what they're saying. So when you call in, be sure to speak up into the microphone of the telephone. Make sure you got a, a good connection. Calling in like on cell phones kind of sucks, but I only have a cell phone. So I'm not going to limit that, but... Try to have at least a good connection on your cell phone if you call in. Alright, so with that being said, let's get to the first call. So, first caller, hello. Uh, am I really on here? Yes, you oh are. Oh my god. Um, yeah, what's your channel? Hi. I'm from Vegas. Vegas? See ya. See ya. I was just in Vegas, I don't know, a month ago? I love Vegas. It's a party town, though. I can't imagine growing up in Vegas. That's got to be a pretty wild spot. All right, next caller. Hello. Hello, Mr. Sharpenor. It hey. is Mr. Flame Monk, and I want to ask you a question about zombies. Well, you go right ahead. Um, is there any possible way? Do you have any guesses on what the new perk on the moon might be, and any guesses what new upcoming stuff would be on the new, like, Asylum Swamp, Factory, and Night? So just. If you could handle that next episode, that'd be great. All right, bye. Um, I have no idea what the next perk is going to be, and I don't know what Asylum Swamp, whatever you were saying is. <laughs> so if anyone has any idea what he's talking about with those other maps that he was saying, I'm not sure. I I don't follow it that closely. I did see like the trailer for Moon, and Moon looks pretty awesome, but I've no idea what the next perk could possibly be so i guess we'll just have to wait and find out all right well thanks for calling and next caller hello oh hey, hey. Um, yeah your videos are legit um yeah i play on xbox so. me too uh, ah! <laughs> i'm talking to you oh your voice now oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. Uh, this is so cool <laughs> I'm sorry, bye. Alright, dude. Well, thanks for calling in. And I don't know. If there's a question there, I think I missed a question. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for calling in. Alright, next caller. Hello. Hey, we'll be shrapnel. This is hey, Mr. Shrine Rayquaza. I'm just Zombies here saying, saying Rayquaza. ask a couple questions. Alright, go ahead. I love your videos. They're awesome. Thank you. And just want to ask you if or what is the or best when? spot to be in Shangri-La on higher rounds because it seems to be I always end up being the last guy left with my friends and then I get trapped somewhere and I just don't know where to be what's the best spot well I think this map is designed to like not have a spot like I think they designed it to you know protect against people camping in one spot and just trying to get up to high rounds that way so they made it so you had to like kind of move around the map but if you have more than one person like this is the area this bridge area is where I like to stay but when it's down to just you I think just trying to run around the whole map and hoping zombies don't spawn right in front of you is really the best strategy just trying to do do laps around the whole map because if you just stay in one spot I think you're gonna get trapped so, that's my advice. If anyone else has a better advice, let me know in the comments. Alright, next caller, hello. Hey, Wicked Shrapnel. Uh, hey, Dwarf Flamer. Um, Dwarf Flamer? I was wondering if you knew anything about the Easter egg on Ascension. I know it's a little off topic because you're yeah, playing Shangri La right now, but I yeah, figured I'd ask topic. because I heard a rumor that um, if after you do the whole thing, there's another part of it where you go through the Winter Lander skin, and if you collect the letters and the... Um, in the order of hyena, the Reaper, which is the upgraded PTSH, appears on the box. So I was wondering if you could confirm or deny that for me. It would be great. Love your videos. See ya. 
Well, thanks, man. Thanks for calling. And I have no idea. I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely not a zombie pro. Like, that's one of the reasons I started this hotline is for people to call in really with tips. If you have tips for the hotline, I mean, you can ask, you can ask questions, and if I know it, I'll answer it. But I am definitely not a vast knowledge repository of, you know, zombie skill. <laughs> I, not very long ago, I was a very newbie noob noob. So I haven't played zombies for very long, and I don't know too much about zombies. I rely on other zombie pros to help me. But if anyone knows, let, let them know in the comments if there is another addition to the Easter egg. I don't think I ever even did the complete Easter egg on Ascension. I think the highest round that I got up to was round 20 on Ascension. So, yeah, I haven't played it too much either. So, yeah, if anyone in the comments, you know the answer to the question, chime in. All right, next caller, hello. Hey, what's your app note? What hey, up? Man. My name is Mr. Lefty78, and I what's noticed up, Mr. Lefty 7, a video, and I noticed that you said um, that the lighthouse on Call of the Dead shows where yep. the mystery box is. Actually, what yep. happens is little question marks on the mystery box shine a huge bright light off of the mystery box and shine it in the air. So that's how you can tell how the mystery box is. Now, thank you. you know, I would really appreciate if you put this video up. If you put this up, it would make me so happy. I would literally jump up and down in the air. Well, you better start jumping up and down in the air then because this is on my video. But I think the video that you're talking about where the lighthouse shines a light, that is to find the Pack-a-Punch on Call of the Dead, not the mystery box. So the mystery box d does shine light up in the air, and that's how you can find it. And But to find the Pack-a-Punch, is that's when you have to follow the light from the lighthouse. And that is totally optophic. So let's see if anyone has anything to talk about Shangri-La. So next caller, hello. Hey, Wicked Shrapnel. This Some is um, Simply Spartan. And What's up, Simply Spartan? I love your videos, dude. I got you on Facebook. Never could on Twitter because I don't have a Twitter. Cool. But um, my question to you is if you could have any wonder weapon, yeah, any wonder weapon in real life, what would it be? Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Bye. All right, man. Well, thanks for calling. If I could have any, any wonder weapon in real life, I'm trying to think of what all the wonder weapons do. Um... Like a shrink ray. I don't know. I, I'm not sure that I would have a, a use for any of them, but if I could have anyone in real life, if there was an actual zombie apocalypse in real life, I would probably want to have... Is a thunder gun? Thunder gun. Or a Zeus cannon. The Zeus cannon. I think that's probably one of the better ones. Or the wonder waff. Although, the only time I got the Wonder Waff, I kind of sucked with it. And I, I did much better with a Thunder Gun or Zeus Cannon. So that's what, that's which one I'm going to pick. I'm going to say Zeus Cannon. So, alright man, thanks for calling. Next caller. Hello? Oh, hey Wicked Schnapple. Or, <laughs> oh. Hey, sorry I pronounced your, how, sorry I mispronounced your name last night. No anyway, problem. Um, I think you're really good at zombies and I don't think you suck at it. Anyway, thanks. All right, well, thanks, man. I, I've definitely improved my zombie skills with the practice that I've got and from a lot of the tips that I've got from people calling into the zombie hotline. So I was I was really, really bad when I first started, but I've definitely got better. And I, I don't think that I'm anywhere near a best zombie player by far. But I enjoy playing it, so that's all that counts. All right, next caller, hello. Hey, Wicked, it's Evan1994, and I just want to say I love your voice. Peace. Oh, you love my voice. Why, thank you. I guess that's all I could say to that. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, next caller. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. You must have a video with c -Nanners. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I would love to have a video with c -Nanners. Um, c -Nanners, if you're watching this, let's do a video together. I, I don't think C Nanners is watching this though. <laughs> Alright, next caller. Hello. Hello, Wookie Shrapnel. Hey. You're an awesome dude. Thanks, Your man. Your videos are, are awesome. Why, thank you very much. And thanks for calling, man. Next caller. Hello. 
Uh, hey, um, hey man. I'm a big fan of your channel. I subscribed. I love all your videos. Thanks, dude. And you're just doing a really good job on YouTube. So if you can add this call to your zombie hotline. And, yeah, your zombie things are pretty good. Your, your channel has a lot of people that like it, including me. You've, you've done a really good job. And, yeah. See ya. Well, thanks for calling, man, and I appreciate that. I mean, you all, I always, uh, I don't know, hear more about the haters, like all the people are calling, you, you, you suck, you suck, dude. And, you know, people tend to dwell on those negative comments. I try, I try not to. I laugh at most of them, but some people are just so cruel. But it's nice when I have people to call in and like what I do and let me know that they like what I do. It helps motivate me to keep doing what I do. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, next caller. Hello. Hey, man, I just want to let you know you're off. this is Colton Stanford. Yep. From Sweeney, Texas. And Texas. your videos are awesome. Keep going, man. Bye. All right, man. Well, thanks. Thanks again for the positive reinforcement. And I think I'm going to stop this episode about right now. I actually have to get back to work, so I will do another episode sometime shortly, probably by next week. So keep calling in and you know keep supporting this series, and I will keep making videos. So I'll talk to you later, guys. Take it easy.